So let's turn it on. Get the nice uh, boot sound. So it just initializes to a patch um, that just has a plain pulse wave. Actually, square wave in this case. Uh, these buttons here control the octaves. Um, and then over here you can cycle through the different waveforms. So this is a triangle. Saw. And noise waveform. A sound which should be familiar to anyone who's ever died in a Commodore 64 game. Seriously, it's like the death sound. So let's turn on the filter! Oh yeah! The uh, SIT chip has a multi-mode filter, so that's a low pass. Band pass. And a high pass. It seems like I took a lot of abuse in the comments for the last video about always fiddling with the cutoff knob on the, on the neck here. You can actually use an expression pedal. Um, I just have a Moog. What's the model number on this thing again? EP over 9000 or whatever it's called. Incidentally, you can also use um, the control voltage inputs to do the same thing. And then we'll just use something like um, the output of maths here from my Eurorack system. If you watch this LED, you'll see that the cutoff is now synced. Keep in mind that, again, this doesn't have to be controlling filter cutoff. There's three control voltage inputs uh, plus the expression pedal input, and they can all be freely assigned to pretty much any parameter in the box. Another thing you can use as a modulation source is the ribbon controller here. By default, it's set up to do pitch bends. All right, so there's several different um, engines in the MIDI box SID. This is the drum engine, which lets you program drums. The lead engine lets you play um, Blade Runner. The bass engine lets you make crazy bass lines. And finally, there's the multi engine, which lets you do things with polyphony. which is very pretty and kind of sounds like Enya. But this being a SID chip, you can also get some really gnarly, nasty, just noise out of this thing too. Okay, that's probably enough of the kind of, you know, feature list of the thing.